Art stresses me out sometimes, though, because I can't. <laughs> okay, people are listening, so they don't know what I <laughs> means. I, this is my fault for having you on my podcast. It's your fault for having me in the first place. Well, I, I can't help it. <laughs> what? This is not a good idea. No, it is not. We are in trouble. Hey, everybody, it's Carrie and Lucy. Welcome back to our podcast. This is not a good idea. And Lucy picked the topic today. I did. What is it? What is art to you? I think that's a great question. Um, but the thing is, is, do you have a good answer? Well, I'm looking at a beautiful... See, the reason... You just interrupted me, you jerk. <laughs> I didn't ask you the question yet. I gave you the topic. I am looking at a beautiful painting right across the room from me. And my that daughter one? painted that, it. That, the bird? <laughs> do you remember... <laughs> I have a wait, bunch of birds. Wait, do you remember when you were little and I got your art... That bird on our wall. You drew a bird in like first grade. And you grade. turned it into a stuffed animal and I ripped its leg off. Yeah, but you were so excited. I loved it and yeah. I still have it. It's pretty great. It is great. Uh, I think that art is subjective. Just like a lot of things are subjective. So what is art to me? Art is a lot of different things. When I see great comedy on stage, I see a magnificent stand-up performance. That's art. I think art is any way of someone expressing themselves, like any way. Like if you express yourself doing something, express yourself, salt and pepper. That's art. Sure. I think music is art. I think art is art, like painted art. I think it? anything could be art. If I you think really it's try. funny that you're a really good painter because your father and I both struggle to sign our names. Allegedly. I don't, I have horrible handwriting. So in first grade, Miss Napper, her name is Miss Napper. Miss Kid Napper. She's dead. She <laughs> hated my art. Did Every, you have to add well, that? she's dead. I can talk about it. I just made her. fun of her name. A Dearborn Christian Wait, school. she's dead, so you yeah. can talk about All her? the way through seventh There's grade. There's so many people I can talk about now. Yeah, all the way through seventh grade, she hated my art. And even back in first grade, I was like, it's modern, Miss Napper. <laughs> it is modern. It is like Picasso. You don't even know. What you're looking at right now. And I uh, did not become a full-time artist because of Miss Napper. I just want everyone to know. It's all her fault. Is that why you said if someone is really good at comedy? <laughs> because <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't Shut help up. but say that you could. I don't enjoy art. I don't enjoy painting. I don't enjoy drawing. It makes me nauseous. Why? I don't know. I can draw a heart. I can draw I, a I don't have a steady hand, so I'm I'm really with the abstract stuff. I, it I really shocked me when you started painting, and then people, when I put it on Facebook, wanted to actually buy her art. And I sold some. Yeah. It was weird. Because of me. And then this one friend of mine wanted to put your art in his house. Remember that? Oh. And then I had sent him a card because his brother was dealing with cancer, and then... I also send him another art, and I think I sent Ruby's name inadvertently. So he goes, oh, I want some art by Ruby, too, because that flower thing she did was really good. And it was mine. And then he gave us money to and so buy art. so that's when my mom so couldn't correct him. So then I was like, uh, Lucy, you better. She, she's like, you should tell him the truth. I'm like, no, he's already been mowed me. I cannot tell him the truth. <laughs> so you and Ruby are going to do an art project together. And that was pure agony. And I stressed over that art project. I know. And, and you, like, yelled at Ruby. I was like, <laughs> stay in the lines, you imbecile. Like, yeah, I was really loving like, I was like, he paid for this. He paid for this. And Ruby's and like people trying are wondering really how much hard. he paid. It was like 25 bucks. It wasn't like hundreds of dollars. But um, so there is somewhere in Florida right now where your art and Ruby's art. And then it's hanging in his house. But I color smudged it with my app. And you have to admit it turned out awesome. It was good. I have it framed. But also, why did you do that when I so cl I tried? Like, what was the point of coloring it then? I color enhanced it. Like, I color enhanced my photos. That to make me one. look like sometimes if I don't have makeup on, I have a little app and it puts lipstick on my lips. Why do you do that? Because I'm cool like that. What? Because I'm cool. I, I'm Didn't like, you just I'm like, in like an episode <laughs> roast people that yes, said that? I don't put animal body parts on my face. You liar. You were on your friend on Messenger and you like, you guys were going with all the filters. Oh yeah, you should not let two women over the age of 35 come up with filters. That was an hour of um, joy. Me and my friend did filters and we put on clown shoes. Oh, I put on everything. Me and my friend Susie. Um, but so we also wanted to talk about filter. what is your what is your favorite kind of art in the whole world? Oh, um, do you have a favorite artist? I really love anything by Frida Kahlo. Oh, she's amazing. Like, now, I love do you her love her art, art or do you love her? All of it. I love her storyline. I love how she empowered women, but I also love. And her give art. a shout out to our neighbor who hooked you up with some oh, Frida yes, Kahlo. Oh yes, she gave me. Uh, 
I don't. Can I say your name? Yeah, Jean. Yeah. Jeannie. Yeah. I I I love the coloring book. And yes. It's Hi, amazing. Jeannie. Um. But and Jeannie gave me some artistic socks. I love that she was able to do self portraits of herself because that's really hard to do, especially like uh, not being able. Because one, being able to look at something and uh, painting it is kind of hard, but you get an idea of what you're painting because it's there, right? But doing yourself is hard because one, you look through a melter, uh, <laughs> through a melter, a mirror. <laughs> You look through a mirror and it's 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 like you see that, but it's kind of hard to put that in perspective. And you know what I love is how women have been portrayed through the centuries, like the Botticelli's, which I don't know if you've studied them yet. They're the Italian uh, paintings of women back in Italy, and they're kind of naked, but they were what we would call today curvy, even chubby women, but they were beautiful. And now the standards of art have changed, and it's like a woman's. Physique needs to be uh, that of this straw. If you're watching on YouTube, this is what is a woman's body should be. The straw. So I think that art has represented from times gone by. It's beauty. so weird. Like the standards that like you see in art back then compared to what the standards are of women today or just people in general. You look at what people dressed like, what people look like, and you're like, wow. And then you look at what people say today, and they're like, oh, you, you can't do that. And, I'm like, and I hate fashion rules. If you want to talk about art slash fashion, I hate that there's rules. If you want to wear fashion, something, you wear can it. wear it. Like, yeah, nobody owns colors. Nobody owns clothing. Nobody, nobody owns, owns like designs. Did you know? Nobody that, owns the rainbow. Did you know in the early 20s? In the early 20s, um, pink was actually a male color, and blue was mostly for women. And then over time, it switched and became this thing. Like, it was so strange to me. Or what about people that say you can't wear plaid with paisley? Like, who, where's the rule book? Where that's a thing. Well, I mean, I don't know what paisley is. Matching people say you have to match. <gasps> my mother and I have been arguing for centuries about my lack of matching, and then my I had lack a kid just like me, and she thought it was going to be payback time. But I was like, Barbara, I think she's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> And my mom, mom, you better pack some matching clothes because your grandmother is recovering from a stroke and we don't want her to have another one with your fashion in Georgia. I have to wear matching clothes. We're not I going mean, outside. Try. I know, but just be respectful. I'll probably be in my pajamas all day. But can you try to be respectable with your fashion? Because I don't want to hear about it. Listen, I will be in my rainbow suspenders and bow tie. That's fine. In my shorts walking and going fishing with grandpa. That's I, I remember want. my mother was supposed to take me out and my best friend Susie was at my house and I had some jacked up outfit on and she's like, you better change clothes by the time I pull the car out of this driveway and put on something appropriate. So I changed clothes and I put appropriate clothes on and Susie will tell you, I did my hair like a wild animal. It was like a lion's mane, like hairspray, like up to the ceiling. And I was like, but I'm wearing the clothes you told me to. Cause I was awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I think I had a moment like that once when No, I, I love everything you do. You don't get to No, no, rebel. with Nana. Oh yeah, I'm sure. No, I was dressing up for church in oh, Nana. Remember when I dressed up for church? You wore the Santa jumpsuit. Andreas, this was a bad to moment. her press no, material. She wouldn't church. let me out of the house. You wore it. No. You didn't? Remember she said, you can't come to my church like that. <laughs> it had like a candy cane attached to it, candy it all over the sleeves. It was a fur Santa suit. I was like, you wear festival sweaters. But Nana, apparently. I swear, we, we, I remember me and Nana go. got in a fight about if she wore pants to church once because I thought I saw her in her green pants. And you pants. were wrong. I know. I thought I saw her in her green pants and her pink flower nope. shirt. She's never worn pants to church. Never worn pants to church. Never, ever, ever. Which is strange to me because I wear pants to church every week. Right. Anyway, so the funny thing about what happened was when I was going to church, I told Nana that I was going to wear my boots with my dress. And it was like a, a spring dress. It was like frilly and pink or whatever dress you think it was. I don't know. But I was going to wear my boots. And my boots were kind of dirty, but I washed them up a little bit so that they'd be a little less dirty so I could wear them to church. And so I wore them. And I was about three steps from walking outside the door while Nana walks behind me and says, No. I turn around. I say, Nana, what's wrong? She says, You're not wearing that to church. I said, I'm wearing a dress, Nana. I, I don't usually wear dress. I'm Welcome wearing a Welcome to my childhood. She said, You are wearing boots. I will not allow this. Because there is a rule in Georgia. There is one rule. You must wear... Lace. 
dressing lace, lace. like dressy clothes and not dressy clothes by nice looking clothes it must be up to code up to code yeah that's why she likes to look at pictures remember of, i she remember likes to I look at around. pictures of when you were little do you remember when i said i was gonna wear my jumpsuit to church uh, to, to tabernacle yeah and nana grabbed me yeah. and went through the entire suitcase realized i didn't have a dress ran to tj maxx to buy me a dress because she cares. and came back and said you're not wearing that <laughs> well jumpsuit. you know what i guess it goes back to our rule about art that there are rules and you don't break them in the state of alabama or georgia yeah you don't <laughs> break the rules or you go to Hell, hell, you go to hell if you do the wrong clothing, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So um, the first time I went to church in California, I had like a Laura Ashley dress on and the pastor had on shorts and Hawaiian t-shirt. I'm like, this is I a want cult. a Hawaiian t-shirt. This t -shirt. is a cult. You know what? You know what I want? I want khaki shorts and I want a blue and orange Hawaiian t-shirt. So you could look like a tourist? No, I would need a visor. <laughs> you would look like a tourist. Yeah, I'd need a green. Oh, I have that. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. So what else about art do you think is intriguing to you? Um, Would you call yourself an artist? You are. Yeah. Uh, I guess you like. You're a very creative kid. Yeah, I do a lot that you would consider art. I do theater. I do guitar. I meet piano and things like that. Shakespeare. Uh, the theater. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but art is fun. Do you think art is an outlet for kids today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I remember those times. When I need to blow off steam, so I play my guitar. And write uh, songs. Art stresses me out sometimes, though, because I can't... <laughs> okay, people are listening, so they don't know what I <laughs> means. I can't move... I can't keep my hands still uh, in the way I want to be still. So I'll paint something, and and I, I'll move my, my hand abruptly, and, and it, it'll just be ruined. I've never seen you do that. I cover it up with more paint, so that's okay. why it takes me so long to finish a painting. Well, maybe you should not cover it up, and it could be like a stroke of genius. It could be your unique. Or, or a stroke of, uh, like a tail off of Get a Get it? A stress. stroke of genius. Oh. That's going to be the name of your first book. A stroke of genius. I'm not writing a book about painting. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be like within the law and and then mom's going to be like, "So when are you coming out with your book?" I know it's really interesting how your life has shaped up because it was predicted by I just assumed that you would be this artsy theater, which you are, but like your dad's in entertainment, I'm in entertainment. You did your first hug. Time I said I wanted to be an autopsist. Can you let you me talk? Freak. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, an autopsist is not a word. Autopsist? Autopsician? Oh my gosh. How is she a straight A student? Like at what school? Autopsician. What's the word? Aut autopsist? It doesn't start with a C. Say, I was talking, you interrupted me. A caddy. So people don't know this about you, but you started performing in national commercials when you were two years old. Yeah, it was weird. You had a Huggies commercial. What is it? Uh, pathologist. Oh, pathologist. But... Back to my point, like I'm a like... a psychopath, but it's a pathologist. So you okay. cut up psychopaths. Okay, so I would like to talk. Yes. I assumed that you were going to be this actor. You got cast in a national sitcom. You, you got guys, cast... You and Dad joked about it, right? That we were going to let you do it? No, that you guys were like, oh, yeah. It's um, super dirty. We will sell our child's soul for NBC. Yeah. No, no not that. Which one? I, the I don't movie? even know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, you do. The sitcom? Oh, yeah. The one where I so, can actually... But in, no, wait. But I'm saying what? that you and Dad, before I was born, said that, you know what, when we have a kid... Oh, yes. We're both comedians, so our kid's going to be like a super big nerd. And it happened. I spoke it into existence. You did speak it into <laughs> but I existence. But like, I feel like it's God spared you. There's been a lot of times where you could have been a series regular, or like it didn't happen. And I know you were sort of sad about that when you were around 10 years old. Remember, you're like, I just, I don't want to do this anymore. But I think yeah. it would have ruined your childhood. You would have had to quit school. And I don't think that's what would have been best for you. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I, I don't have so. any regrets that that didn't happen as I a path really for you. I don't really know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Like, well, you're I, 13. When I was little, I was like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what I want. And then when I was like, I want what this was age, that? Uh, for years and years and years, I was like, I'm going to be the president. Of the United States, and then I was like, I'm gonna be a Supreme Court justice. I love that one. And now I'm like, I just want to do something with the law. If I'm a Supreme Court justice, if I get up there, it's cool. If I'm a lawyer, I don't even. And then there's like all these positions where I'm like, I want to be a. I... What do you? You can't if even I... say it. 
Pathology. Pathology. You, you want to be a pathologist? Is that the word? Yeah. I just want to cut people open. You want to cut for dead money. people open for money. If they're already dead, I can't screw up, right? I think that's a great job. Because computers will not replace you. I thought I wanted to be a... Yeah, a computer could replace me. There could be a robot arm doing that's everything. That's true. That is true. But um, I thought when I was younger, I was like, I want to be a brain surgeon. And I was like... Don't be a brain surgeon. But now that I'm older, I realize... Robots. If I'm a pathologist, mm -hmm. that I can cut people open... Mm -hmm. and not have to worry about their death. So therefore, and they will no never one, sue you. No one has to sign a waiver. I That's can't do anything job. wrong. Yeah, and robots are going to replace brain surgeons. So once again, we've stayed completely on topic. Art, brain surgery, pathology, dead people. I love it. I hope people have learned a lot from this podcast, but you have no idea what you're doing with your life. I'm going to cut people open. Okay, sweet. So we're going to end it on that. Lucy's going to cut people open, and this will be fun to listen to years down the road to see When if... I cut people open. Sure. Fantastic. <laughs> so please drop us a line at this is not a good idea podcast at gmail.com and Spotify and iTunes and all those great things. So thanks for listening. Say bye. Bye.